right, let's move on now to the hottest trend in reality TV right now. Getting naked, or as I call it in the South, getting naked. <laughs> naked. Well, I just want to say this. Last Sunday, they were getting naked on Naked and Afraid, and it was the top-rated unscripted program <laughs> in all of cable. That show is my passion. Oh, I listen, love that show. This trend is completely out of control. And in tonight's big picture, the naked truth behind reality TV bearing all. Whoa, shark. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Every now and then, there's a special show that breaks out that touches a nerve with America. And that's really what Naked and Afraid has evolved into. Now, the reason we can't look away from the show isn't because they're naked. It's because we can't help but think of ourselves surviving in the wilderness for 21 days like that. I think about quitting every day. It hurts. It hurts too bad. It's going to get easier. It's the original social experiment, but now others are bearing all, prompting the question, are they using nudity as a ratings ploy, stripping over substance? There's buying naked on TLC about selling real estate and clothing optional communities with their strategic sensor shots. This room might be a little small, but I think it's something that we can work with. You're not gonna put binoculars on and look at my ass. And there's dating naked on VH1 that averages a million viewers each week. Feel a little uncomfortable like this? I'm fine. But do the ratings come with a price? Contestant Jesse Nisowitz is suing VH1's parent company, Viacom, for $10 million. Honestly, being naked to me really means absolutely nothing. She's claiming to be shocked and horrified that her business was allegedly unblurred during this wrestling scene. We're alleging that there is a uh, breach of contract. Jesse's lawyer spoke to us today. There's an understanding that it's just spoken between the producer and the uh, person on the show, uh, yet the contracts are very different uh, from what's expected. The blurs are, you know, very minimal. Scott Teddy is an executive producer on the show. You're watching, for all intents and purposes, you, you are watching, you know, new television. Uh, and not all of it's going to be blurred. And that makes lawyers nervous. Ours would barely let us show you the dating naked wedding special when we were on set. That's where we first met Kristen, who actually found love on the show. We all knew what we were getting into when we signed up for the show. I mean, it says in the contract that we're going to be nude, we're going to be blurred, uh, the chest and the you know private parts, but our butt is going to be showing. So we knew what was going to be going on.